Hello, this is D with Divine Needle doing a daily Age of Aquarius spiritual path reading. This is for day 10, Age of Aquarius, June the 29th, 2020. During the meditation, the only thing I heard was, a storm is coming. I didn't get anything else, that was it. But I thought I'd do something a little different and um, do the shuffle on camera. I don't know what told me to do that, but self perhaps so this one time I'm gonna do a shuffle on camera don't know why but I'm gonna <laughs> I think it's um <clears throat> I'm just supposed to do it that way this time anyway here we go this is for June 29th, 2020, day 10, for all the heart-based souls. Overall energy. Overall energy. Overall energy. Sometimes it takes a while for the cards to come. Like they're aligning them. Other times they fly out. I don't know why, but just this once anyway, I'm gonna do it. Well, I feel guided to. Don't know why. Overall energy, day 10. Overall energy. Ebony shield and the hollow void. Overall energy. <clears throat> what do they need to make their highest priority for tomorrow? Highest priority for tomorrow. Highest priority for tomorrow.
why I don't do the shuffle. <laughs> Four of hearts in reverse. Always keep my deck. Always everything's aligned upright. Always interesting card on the bottom. So if a card comes out upside down, it's meant to be. And I'm not hearing otherwise. <clears throat> what to be mindful of and prepare for. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, the necromancer, gateway of resurrection. because before I started this I was like do I set the box like this or should I set it up like this <laughs> yeah anyway underlying energy the necromancer P18 gateway of resurrection When Key 18 appears to you, the matter at hand is steeped in ambiguity. You cannot rely on superficial impressions. Instead, trust your psychic responses. The necromancer appears to help you see beyond physical perception. This is the spirit of your own imagination, an imagination that shines now so that, you, so that the truth can be illuminated. The necromancer appears when you are coming toward a crossroads of having to endure through a dark night of the soul. The necromancer will be your guide and ally through the darkest night, yet there is prophecy here. Journeying through the dark night of your soul will take you on a path that leads to your holy grail. The necromancer <laughs> is the spirit of resurrection you on a path that leads you to your holy grail. Yep. The parting seas depicted on the card symbolize climat climatic miracle. Through the doubt and mystery maintain an unwavering faith and that is what powers resurrection and miracle. Nice. All right, tomorrow's overall energy, a hollow void for chalices. The hollow void builds our psychic inner platform for spiritual strength. This is a spirit present spirit presence with you as you look inward, reflect, meditate and reach independent insight on why there is a hollow void. 
This is a spirit that helps you conduct re-evaluation. How do you find meaning in that which feels meaningless? The hollow void is a spirit here to help you navigate personal sensations of worldly discontent. Here, a sorceress goddess of magic and healing, signified by the scorpion perched in the tree, has compelled a divine hand to offer you waters blended from the mystic sea and the sea of awareness, spiritual revelation and attainment of worldly knowledge that will fill that hollow void. divine is going to be handing you a cup. The ebony shield, power and authority of earth. The queen of orbs brings nourishment so that you have the vitality to accomplish your goals. and the strength to overcome your challenges. She bears an apple of knowledge that will fortify you with all that you need to be your most resourceful. The ebony shield brings protection around your wealth, luck, gains, and earthly dominion so that others cannot take what is yours. When the ebony shield appears to you, she is making her presence known so that you might take prudent action to preserve your assets and capital. Save, invest, and be more mindful of your security. A female ancestor or one from your maternal lineage can appear to you through the ebony shield. So you're being handed a cup. Make sure you meditate. Because you'll be getting a cup in that meditation. And... Finances, invest, reinvest. The dark night of the soul leads you to the truth. Highest priority <clears throat> the conservator, four of orbs in reverse. The conservator is the maintenance work, investments, and natural resources needed to reign, rule, and order. This is a spirit presented in your life path when you are demonstrating an inordinate attachment to the material. So that means you're not demonstrating an inordinate attachment to the material. Tomorrow, highest priority, do not have attachment to the material. This is earthly power you are clinging desperately to at the expense of greater spiritual realization. The conservator is both the spirit of that which is empirical and orderly, efficient and pragmatic, and also that which is self-serving, covetous, and parsimonious. So, you're doing quite the opposite. Meditation protecting what you do have, but realizing that the material is really nothing. Because the only thing that's real here is love. A cup of love coming in from the divine. Hmm. All right. Interesting reading. Archangel of Mysteries, Angel Who Illuminates the Shadows. <clears throat> the King of Orbs is the Archangel of Mysteries. Another one of her many names is the Archangel of Revelations. 
She is a beneficent guy connected to the underworld, one authorized to act as an intermediary and mediator between the angelic realm, still subservient to the divine, and the realm of the fallen angels. She can also tra transverse through all of the lower realms to guide lost souls. The Archangel of Mysteries appears now because these qualities and powers of protection of hers are needed by you. The King of Orbs illuminates the darkness for you, who are about to traverse the realms of shadow. You are about to uncover great mysteries. This is the Archangel who protects you against all forms of darkness along your initiatory path of discovery. The King of Orbs is the great provider. You too are a great provider to others. With her lantern, the Archangel of Mysteries illuminates crossroads. She is a great master of spells and incantations. The ears of corn symbolize the seeds of spiritual enlightenment through the erudite study of esoteric practices. You manifest your material abundance through spiritual abundance. She who illuminates the shadow. Prepares you for this. Fascinating. So tomorrow seems like a, a very spiritual day for the most part and realizing that the material here really isn't that important. Because what you do have is being shielded. There's a cup coming in, information from the divine. And this is mindful and prepare for with an underlying energy of the necromancer. You're going to be guided to her, she who illuminates. Wow, crazy reading. Anyway, um, like I said, the only thing I heard is there's a storm coming. So, I'm, I'm still not aware what the remain calm is exactly, but I would continue to do that because that felt important. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section if you had anything come up today where you had to remain calm. All right. Anyway, I hope this helps you out for tomorrow, which is Moon Day. Monday, June 29th, day 10 of the Age of Aquarius. Love you guys more than you can know.